KXNEWS News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. And what appears to be an end to the unknown, a man is charged in a quadruple homicide case in Mandan. Chad Isaac appeared before a judge today. But before we talk about a man accused of murder, we remember the victims in this tragedy. RJR held a press conference moments ago not to talk about the man behind the murders, but to talk about those who lost their lives that day. Renee Cooper was there. She joins us now with the latest. Renee. Good evening, Lauren. It was a somber scene when I walked into RJR. About 20 employees walked in together, holding each other as one of the owners, Jackie Fockler, gave her message. Jackie Fockler's husband, Robert, was one of the victims. She describes him as an incredible husband, father, and grandfather. The employees even laughed a little as his wife described him as opinionated but constructive. She called William Cobb Pastor Cobb. Fockler says he's a true cowboy and a most dedicated employee. Fockler said Lois Cobb would greet staff every morning and tell them, you are my sunshine. And Adam Fuhrer was described as quiet and loyal. Fockler calls him a true family man. Not only did we lose an owner and irreplaceable employees, we lost sons, daughter, husbands, fathers, brothers, grandfathers, grandmother, sister, loving wife, mother, and some of our closest friends. Jackie's, Jackie Fockler sent her thanks to BCI and Mandam PD for their work in bringing their loved ones to justice. She asked you to continue to call Mandam PD if any information is still out there surrounding this horrific act of violence. I'll tell you more about this press conference at 6. Back to you, Lauren. Certainly some touching moments. Renee Cooper, thank you so much. Next Tuesday, April 9th, the combined memorial service for all four victims will be held at the in the morning at Bismarck Community Church. Eastgate's funeral and cremation services director says the memorial service is open to the public, but they are asking that only people who knew the victims attend. Media will not be there. A separate private service will also be held for family members. A suspect arrested last night in connection to the